Um, and for those that don't know, um, Peter Heine Nielsen is currently Magnus Carlsen's second at the tournament in London. Um, so how's he going? How's how's Magnus feeling at the moment? Well, I mean, okay, he's he's done very well so far, and he's leading the tournament, so I think he feel, feels pretty good, but okay, we have five exciting rounds left, so, I mean, well, it's going to be going to be very interesting. I think also we'll have an interesting game uh, uh, ahead with, with him today, with, with Boris, so, well, quite quite good, but, uh, well, I think there's a, a lot of things to happen still in this tournament. Absolutely, you know, it's, it, I think, you know, five rounds to go, as you say, and, and the, the pressure is now on, so obviously he's, you know, he's kept tension in the position today. And yeah, I think. Well, I mean, well, the game has basically just started, but uh, well, you can see at least at least Gelfand is spending a bit of time, so that that is that is that is useful. So. Yeah, I, I guess the opening was uh, predictable for you. Well, to a reasonable extent. I mean, Gelfand has played this uh, e6 move on uh, on move on move three quite a lot recently, and also. Uh, I mean, this I forgot if it was move five or six, but he played the. Uh, uh, well, this 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 system against um, against Grisha early in this tournament, but it's typical Gelfand. He he trusts his systems, and uh, well, he was sort of you know show me, and uh, well, we will see how how that develops in in some sense. But well, I think Black has a very solid position, but hopefully White would be a bit better. And, well, they will get to to play an interesting game, hopefully. For for those that don't know, uh, you're seconding uh, Magnus Carlsen now, but of course for. Several years, you were the the second of uh, Vishwanathan Anand, and what's in, and including, of course, you you were there at his World Championship match against Gelfand last May. So, what is the big difference between seconding Vishy and seconding Magnus? Well, it's not not that different. They are both fan, f fantastic players. So, I mean, well, it's both players that if they get a a nice position. They will normally co convert it very well. So I think that it's in many ways quite similar. But of course, there is a huge difference with a, between a player who's um, um, 43 and a player who's uh, who's 22 in sort of uh, in age and experience. So I mean that that is clear. But uh, I mean chess-wise, it's it's pretty similar. I would say. Okay. When you say there's a big difference between you know a 22-year-old and a 43-year-old, a so it, how how do you mean exactly? Okay, you say Vichy is more experienced. Well. So well, Wishy has has tried everything in the, in the chess world. While for for Magnus, it's uh, it's completely new. So that I mean, well, I mean, Wishy has uh, won won five world championships, right? So I mean, he's been in all kinds of <laughs> scenarios before. While for for Magnus, despite his you know extremely impressive career at this age, I mean, he he has actually not been you know in a in a candidate. Um, well, tournament like this. he's played played matches when he was really young. But uh, but else, this is actually a new for him, uh, despite what he's uh, what he's achieved. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, does he feel the difference? Does he, or does he just think this is just another tournament? Well, maybe a bit of both. But I mean, I think, well, I mean, if you look at his games, they they look like, uh, you know, a normal Magnus Carlsen games. He he plays well. I mean, he might get into some some trouble early on, but then he he solves the problem. And when he's gotten on top, he's managed to convert. So I think, uh, no, I think it's it's Magnus as he's always played, and uh, I think also. Well, I mean, you know, his manager and his father is taking good care that uh, things are just happening as normal as because, well, it's worked so well for him. So why change just because this is actually a qualification tournament for a World Championship match, right? Mm, good stuff. Okay, well, listen, I, I, I hope, hope you're enjoying your, uh, your work here with Magnus. Um, and, I mean, but you've said that if Magnus wins and qualifies for a match against Anand, then... I mean, obviously, there's a conflict of interest there, as you've previously seconded Vichy. So you've said that you wouldn't actually second Magnus in that case. Well, I would, yeah, I would second neither player, sure. Yeah, no, yeah. That, that would, uh, well, that would just not be correct, in my opinion. So I think, um, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, well, I mean, you will see that in football, but in chess, it's a bit different. I mean, we have, uh, well, we're sharing a lot of, you know, opening information and stuff like this. And, uh, well, also, I mean, Vichy is a very good uh, Good friend of mine, which, who I like a lot, so sort of to work against him would feel very unpleasant. But I think, well, there has been no talk about such at all. Mm, sure. Okay. Good stuff. Well, um, Peter, thanks very much for joining us. Um, I'll let you get back to spectating. I don't want to take up more time. <laughs> okay. But, it, but, but it's um, but it's been very interesting. Thank you very okay. much. Th thanks a lot. Keep okay. up the good work. Okay. Thank, thank okay. you. Bye bye.